Okay, this is an unboxing of a telescope accessory. Let's open and see what is inside this box. I don't know what is inside. Okay, what it says here is a Skywatcher 1.25 16mm Nirvana uh, um, ES eyepiece. Okay, that's the eyepiece that actually I noticed when I'm observing the moon, either I have very wide angle or some planetary eyepieces. Something in between was good to have, and I thought that Nirvana is a good option. Let's open and see. Okay, let's see what is inside. Oh. Well, this is styrofoam. Hmm. Good for packaging, not good to keep. Let me empty these things. Okay, I have now removed all the styrofoam and let's see what is inside. Square pack. And what is inside is wrapped uh, in bubble wrap. And in this. Then comes the actual eyepiece, Helios Nirvana uh, 16 millimeter. Okay, Helios uh, is also one of the brands of the Skywatcher. So let's see what is it inside. I need to use my hand. Okay, what is here? Oh, nice eyepiece. Okay. Looks impressive. Ultra wide angle, 82 degrees, uh, Nirvana. And if I open the, oh, that's quite impressive. I like that. Quite clear. 82 degrees. Yeah, I'm impressed for such a short uh, focal length eyepiece. Okay, this is the eyepiece, and uh, yeah, I'm going to use it for, for planetary views and also for the moon. And probably for looking at some of the like, core of the Orion Nebula, the trapezium, and other things. Let's see anyway what we use. Really nice eyepiece, and it's a gem. I must say, it is a gem. It is practically a gem. This Nirvana. I don't think anybody realizes that, unless they try this. This is equal or even better to a Teleview uh, Nagler. I'm telling you. Teleview Naglers are 82 degrees field of view eyepieces in this class. There is a 4mm and 7mm version of this also. Look at the quality of the lens here. This is the object size lens and this is the eye, lens, eye part lens. Without no doubt, I'm not exaggerating or anything, this is the most comfortable eyepiece I ever have seen, I ever have used.
the cutting in the sea of the north of the Imbrium, where the Jura Mountains is, uh, what is called actually the part near the Caucasian Mountains, is the uh, Alpine Valley. Amazing. Yeah, it's in lower part though, when you see the a parallel dotted line as if parallel to that mountain inward to the, uh, the Sea of Rains is where the Apollo 15 landed in the mountains. Try to zoom on down. 